this is the original screen for the creation of material master here you give the industry sector which is mechanical engineering as well as the material type which is raw material next you select the views basic views purchasing mrp general data accounting and costing views you press enter then you come across having to give the plant you give the storage location and press enter next you need to give the description of the material master along with the basic unit of measure you give the material group which is a mandatory field you can also give some old material number a previous reference next is the gross weight and the gross unit of measure and then net weight you don't need to give anything on this screen it's not mandatory on the purchasing view you need to give the purchasing group you can select from the drop down select any one of them and then click on the MRP view you can give ND which is for no planning and when you press enter you come on the plant data you can give storage location or a storage bin you can give any numerical value as well On the accounting view, you need to give the valuation class for the raw material or semi-finish or finish. And then here is the price control. The V is for moving average price and the price given was 100. That's all. Just save the material master. And if anything is missing, you need to enter that. Here the plant delivery time was missing, so the system asked you to put that in. The material marks is saved and a new number is generated which is 1611. To create a new vendor you need to use the T code XK01. Type in the vendor number which is an external number. Give the company code 1000 and the purchasing organization 1000 and the account group 0001. An account group is a logical grouping of all the vendors, be it local vendor or the import vendor. You need to give the description of the vendor, the address, if your vendor is also your customer, you can give some information about over here. At the same time, you need to give the reconciliation account. And then if how you're going to manage the overall payment of the vendor. You can specify the payment terms as well as the payment method, which is an international check. In this case, the dunning procedure can also be specified. Dunning is basically a reminder to the vendor. And then you give the currency, the order currency, which is euro then you can save the vendor to create a Purchasing info record, the T code is ME11. You give the vendor number, the material number, the purchasing organization, and the plant. Press enter. And this takes you to the first screen, which is the general data screen. Uh, you can give some information as you feel necessary. Here, the important information is the plant delivery time, which is two days, and the standard quantity, which would be used for purchasing purposes. You can then save the 
information at this stage. If you want to give some additional text related to purchasing info record, it can be given and then you can save the PIR. To create a new purchase requisition, the transaction code is ME51N. The first time when you come on the purchase requisition screen, you get an overview. Now what you need to do is you need to go on the header screen, the item overview. On the header, you can type in any note that you would like to be included in the purchase requisition. Next, you can give the material number that you would like to be purchased, the quantity, and then the plant and the storage location. Followed by the requisitioner. Next, you can also go to the details screen of the purchase requisition. And get some more detail, like the quantity. If there is an additional information that you'd like to give, you can give at this stage. You can also specify the source of supply. If you have a fixed vendor from whom you normally purchase, you can give the vendor number. Otherwise, you can use this assign source of supply icon and it will automatically select the relevant vendor for you. Go on and save the purchase requisition and it will generate a number. To create a purchase order, you need to use transaction code ME21N. Select the document overview icon. And from here in, you can select purchase requisition, a request for quotation that can be used to create your purchase order. In this example, I had used purchase requisition, which will be used to create a purchase order. This screen is for you to select the relevant parameters, like the name of the requisitioner and the material number. You can then execute. This is the purchase requisition number. You can either select and use the adopt icon or you can select this and drop this to the shopping cart. Next, click on the document overview icon. This Purchase order is being created with reference to purchase requisition and all the information from the purchase requisition is directly copied into the purchase order. So there is no need to type in any additional information. You can have a print review of the purchase order.
This is how the purchase order will look like once it's printed. You can then go back and then save the purchase order. The purchase order number will be generated. To undertake good receipt against purchase order, the transaction code is MIGO. Give the good receipt against purchase order and give the purchase order number. Press enter. And all the details will be automatically available. You can give additional information like delivery note number, the bill of lading if this is an import order, Further down, just click on the checkbox item OK. And then use the but check button to ensure everything in the good receipt document is OK. Go ahead and post the document. A document number will be generated. This is the material document number which is also followed by the accounting document number. To view the material document number use display material document number and press enter. To have a look at the financial document number Click on the tab Document Info and click on the icon FI Documents. Click on the accounting document. And this is the accounting document number against the purchase order number. To record vendor invoice, use transaction code MIRO. Enter the company code. Use today's date or the invoice date, followed by the purchase order number against which the invoice is submitted. All the information from the purchase order will automatically be copied. Use the amount to enter the vendor invoice amount followed by the baseline date. A baseline date is used to calculate if the vendor has delivered the invoice and the payment must be made accordingly. Save the invoice. If there is any error, it will be reflected at this stage. It is also used for simulation purpose and a document number will be generated. Have a look at the document number. And also click on the follow on documents. Click on the accounting document and it will give the accounting view of that need to be paid to the vendor.